Girls that come in and lay their eggs on our beaches. They try to conserve all the, the turtles and runs away all the tourism. And every year, Mother Nature comes along, just like she's about to do down there right now with a big old tropical storm. Washes them all away and kills all the turtles. Luckily, I got a solution to all the turtle problems on the beaches. Goes like that. Turtle soup. Turtle soup, it'll go the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out he's going to poop. Turtle soup. Got that one here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! The mayor been like she could jump up the bridge. They all would leave. They don't know if it's good to eat. Turtle soup. So I thought I'd lend a helping hand. I opened up my own soup stand down on the beach. I didn't tell them it was turtle soup. Hell no. I called it my Daytona stew, sold it for a buck or two. They all lined up and they only knew it was turtle soup. Turtle soup, turtle soup, it'll throw the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out, he's gonna poop. Turtle soup. They came in his stories for the press. Daytona stew was a big success. I still never did confess. It was turtle soup. Till I finally made the Fox News show. Felt it was time the world should know. I stood up and told Bill O'Reilly I was making turtle soup. And I kicked that asshole in the nuts. Yeah, I took a seat. Turtle soup. And I throw the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out he's going to poop. Turtle soup. They ain't going to believe this. You ain't going to believe this. It's a true story. And it's because of this story that I all my friends down there want to get to run for mayor of Daytona Beach. They call me Flanders down there. I mean, many years ago I was down there selling my, selling my Daytona stew. Later in the afternoon I was just gazing out over that beautiful ocean we have down there. And from the right hand corner of my right hand eye, I saw someone approaching my way down the beach. As they approached and got closer, I realized it was an older gray-haired gentleman. I don't know if you've ever been down in Florida before, but there's a lot but of gray-haired gentlemen walking down our beaches. But this one happened to be the mayor of Daytona Beach. He walked right up to my suit and said, I've been hearing a lot about your Daytona stew. How about a bowl? So he smoked a bowl and horse smoked a big cup of soup. He took one bite and his eyes got real big. Big, big old smile on his face. He said, yeah, tell me, son, what are you cooking up in your Daytona stew? And I laid it on him. Ter terrors. But, uh, carrots, taters, y'all have a great night. Oysters, crawdads, and celery. He said, yes, I see and taste all that good stuff in your Daytona stew. But tell me something, son. What is this delectably delightful sweet treat of a meat that I see and taste in your Daytona stew? And I laid it on, good people. I laid it on. I laid it on him just like I would lay it on each and every one of you here tonight before the eyes of the Lord. So I'm going to finish it out real quick for you. <laughs> now we'll get the turtles, we'll get them bred, we'll send them all over till everyone's fed. I'm surprised they ain't wound up dead over turtle soup, at least not yet anyway. I'm always looking for snipers and the government, members of PETA. Hell, they ran me out of town, that's why I had to move up here. <laughs> Calling them people eating tasty animals. <laughs> that one's gone way too long. <laughs> turtle soup, turtle soup, gonna throw the whole town for a loop. When the mayor finds out, he's gonna poop. Turtle soup. <laughs> when Glenn Ritchie finds out, I know. I know. I know. He's gonna poop it. Yeah. And it's all because of those turtles. You can catch them fresh down there off your Florida beaches. You can eat it with your grilled cheese sandwiches. Hell, down there you can eat it with your manatee bone steaks. It's turtle soup.